Our Light Sworn deck box is finally up, and for those of you that have been waiting for this, honestly, I think the, the front, the top, and the outside of the box are my favorite part. And then we have the inside of the art here, sporting off Minerva. So for those of you that want the chance to pick up this deck box, I'll leave a link down below so you can grab yours today. And honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite pieces that we've had today. Let's pass on over to Market Watch. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So, Market Watch today. Hmm. As per usual, guys, leave a comment down below. One of you be walking away with a booster pack. We do this on every single one of these Market Watches. And I do genuinely hope that, you know, if you do walk away with one of these. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. And, of course, thumbs up the video as well. Helps support the Market Watch content. So, uh... Quarter Century Big Gabungas, $36. Well, that's, that's nothing really too strange. I mean, 37 listings, $35. They escalate up to about 40 Okay, well, that's that's a little bit normal, I feel like, here. Um, down here is where our, uh, our spectacle is today. Big Gabungas coming in at $9, $8, 9 a piece here. And it looks like you're coming in... They're, they're going up. Like, I guess like that's that's the point of this here is like there's a lot of goblin hype going around right now. Yes, I know. Mind goblin. Yes, it is a funny ha ha joke. All right. I had to make it at least once out here or ha 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 my big gabunga. Um, but outside of that, I mean, this card does facilitate a lot of free combo usage. Also, you know, it's incredibly generic. Two level threes makes this thing and you're kind of off to the races. So I think that's actually pretty good to consider out here. Huh. Of course, we had to talk about the grand entrance as well. So here's the thing. You have a quarter century? Well, you have a very cheap one that probably won't be here for, oh, it's, yeah, $37. And then you jump on up here to 50 and 50 and you're going. Actually, you're about to bypass on up to 60 here. Actually, once you're through these, you're up to 145. Um, that's kind of crazy to think about. And the long run. Remember, you also have the sneak peek promo for this too. But once again, you get down here to your uh, on that scram bash. Okay, yeah, your grand entrance, ten bucks, and then you have the eleven dollar version down here as well. So I guess like your takeaway from this is like you've also got buyouts happening back here in this. But this card's a rota. Like it adds any goblin monster from your deck to your hand, which I guess is by far one of the most incredibly generic search options. That you can have. Maybe I want to add Goblin Attack Force with this from my deck to my hand. You know, like that's the entirety of the value of this card. It's just Goblin Surgeage. But yeah, these do go up. You're at twelve dollars at the bottom of the first page. Well, what else we got going on back here besides you know random XXX Goblin, you know, <laughs> biker buyout? Well, Garu is also are doing things here now. I want to point out here that this is very likely a candidate for rarity collection too. I, I think most people are kind of looking at this card right now and they're going, yeah, this should receive some sort of reprint along the way. I, I do agree a lot actually in that department, um, but you're looking at 15 and $16 for both versions of this card. It's, it's good to see when cards consolidate value and you know, the reprint catches up to the actual version of the card. Thank you, Seeker Rare, for allowing us to do things. Also, this card's got 31 versus 37 listings on it right now. And, I mean, <laughs> I think this has been the best TCG exclusive that we've had in literal years in order to kind of keep up with the secondary market. So, good stuff. Now, let's talk about branded here. Um, you're down to 11 listings right now on this thing. And there's been a fairly recent spike of people wanting to play low, you know, voiceless voice with Branded. It's been making its rounds. Is it good? I don't know, but as of filming this, Branded Fusion is at, well, 44. And then you gas up to 49 to $50 a copy of this right now. Um, to be honest with you, I'm surprised that this hasn't crossed over into the $50 range yet, but... With the way that our market tries to hold back, I feel like a lot of the value. Also, there should be a candidate also for rarity collection. It's like you're you're looking at this video in February and you're like, oh, you know, 
I don't think they'll reprint branded fusion, Robbie. You, you might be very, very shocked at what Konami might actually do. Um, on the heels of that, let's talk about the Raid Raptor stuff here. Because we do have a reprint of Mr. Four Strix. Ah, right here. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that over the course of the weekend here. But 22s, 11s, and 9s. It actually looks like finally people started to realize, wait a minute, Four Strix did get a reprint. You know, and maybe it's going to knock down the value. Yes, it did, actually, considering the fact that, I mean, to be fair, these were always up there. But, like, this this card had no value or no reason being $20 plus dollars when you have an OTS reprint right on the heels of it here to knock down that value off of its pedestal. So, guess what? You can actually get some cheap cards out of this. Okay. Dimension Wall. So... Before filming this, somebody mentioned to me, hey, Dimension Wall, Robbie, you should look at this card. You know, realistically, Dimension Walls are all $7 plus dollars a copy. I was like, there's no way. You know, okay, so the DR4 version, 8 9 bucks. Sure, that's understandable. You get down here to Champion Pack 5, huh, $6, okay? Get down here to Cybernetic Revolutions, huh, three seventy five for Mod Play, 31 listings. This is really the case? Um, yeah, you're hitting, guess what, 6 $7? on that huh okay same thing down here with uh yeah just four all of your versions of this card this thing has not been reprinted in an eternity but it does show yet again here for whatever reason i guess like the classic burn decks do like this card this is also like your traditional new player wants to play ha 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 funny deck you know ha ha you attack me ha ha you take the damage you know, it's it's a very classic switcheroo-esque card, but for this value, this is nuts. Huh. I forgot this card existed. You know, we go from, like, one format where, like, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon is such a stupid good card. You know, like, this thing is making people look around. People are like, uh, I don't want to deal with this. You know, it makes barren, and then we forget about it. Um, $70 right now for your collector's rares. That feels like a pretty normal thing. How's our discount version doing? Well, you can you can tell that the uh, the heart murmur right here has uh, been a very big adventure between 30 and $36. Um, it looks like your most recent sales data, though, puts this thing at actually like $27, $20. How the mighty have fallen, actually. Like, I'm actually pretty impressed Looking at this card right now, just the turnover rate of Excel Synchro. Okay, Ritual Beast cards. Hey, look, Ulti Guy Apelio. Still get a mod play for 20 bucks. I mean, I guess. Meanwhile, Ultras are like 15s. No, no, I don't think I will. Is that it? Is that all I get for Ritual Beast on, like, my first page through here? I love searchability on this. Yeah, you see? Look, look how defined the system is. Good news, though, everybody. Neftifis is still $5. And your Brotherhood of the Fire Fist is also $2. Um, Elders still coming in about $1.50. I feel like that's the most expensive things that you're getting out of this. Yeah, everything else in the Ritual Beast Department, worthless. Pathetic. Except for this. Still rare, though. All right, what else we got back here? Um, 160 for Emsetti. I remember back in my day when these were cheaper Nah, actually, still doing their thing. Regular M City still pushing 55, 60, 62. I suppose that's at 55, 60. Yeah, not much has really changed in your Horus department. You can even see like King Sarks are pushing like five dollars. 220 listings of Hoppy. Hoppy, Hoppy, Hoppy. Woo. Okay, sorry, I had to get that out of my system. And uh, Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. So this is interesting. Um. I, is this just Unchained playing this? Is this Labyrinth playing this? We've seen a lot of splashable builds. 20, 20, 20, the way it looks here. But these 22, 23, 23, 25, these are, you have enough listings vanish here, you might actually see this become a $40 card for Unchained. Like, take a moment just to think about how stupid that that actually is. Like, 
Um, I don't think it's going to happen, realistically. But Yama doing this, though, I think is a very dangerous thing. Yes, he does have his counterpart here, Mr. Quarter Century, which is $58 on up to 60 And this thing has 57 listings. So, I mean, realistically, if this card touches as much as its Quarter Century counterpart, wild. Leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think about today's market, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.